I don't know. All I know is, in the midst of all my pain and suffering, I've never felt more peace, love, and comfort. In the midst of all my loss, I've never experienced more gain. The lowest points of my life have never been more filled with joy and hope. The most negative time of my life has become and is the most positive. The unreal has become real. The unseen is more seen than what's seen. And there have been things that have happened in my life that I can't explain other than it has to be God. I mean, can you explain? Can you explain what happened January 31st, 2013? Can you explain how I turned the radio on three times in the same day and heard the exact same verse? Each time, can you explain how I got $17,000 without asking a single person? Can you ask how I got my bills paid without asking a single person? Can you ask how I got vehicles without asking a single person? Can you explain me? Can you explain my life, who I was then and who I am now? Can you explain the peace I have? Can you explain the joy I have? Can you explain my hunger for the Bible or why I go to church four times a week? Can you explain the miraculous healing in people? Can you explain the deliverance from addiction and bondage in some people? Can you explain how I got to preach here? Where did this message come from? Why do people willingly die for this gospel? Can you explain anything? No, you can't, but I can, and so can he, and so can she, and so can she, and so can he, because I'm not the only one that things like this have happened to, and the answer is simple. His name is Jesus. How do we know that our God is the God? Ask a Muslim what Allah has done for them in their life lately. Ask them if they feel love, joy, or peace. Ask them if they even have hope. Ask a Hindu or a New Age spiritualist about answered prayer in their life. Ask a Jehovah's Witness or a Buddhist if they ever get caught up in the presence of God during prayer or worship. They can't, but we can. His name is Jesus, and we can tell unending stories of things that he has done for us in our life. You can take away our Bible. You can take away our churches. You can take away our pastors. You can take away our theology. You cannot take away the personal things that have personally happened in our personal life with our personal God. And that's all we need to know. That's all we need to know when being a credible witness for Jesus. But answer me this. Answer me this. Where does your joy come from? Where do you find peace in? What do you have hope in? The world? You may temporarily find those things in the world, but that's all it is. It's temporary. You want to know why? Because I used to live in the world. Never once ever in my life have I ever come home from a night of drinking, drugging, partying, having sex, spending money, making money, wearing fancy clothes, driving fancy cars, and cried, fulfilling tears of joy. I've never come home from a night with all of that and dropped to my knees and cried tears of joy never and never have you but I have cried fulfilling come on But I have cried fulfilling tears of joy with no job, no car, no benefits, no money, little food, home in foreclosure, facing prison time. Can you explain that? I can. His name is Jesus. We can witness to anybody with that evidence. Richard Dawkins, Charles Darwin, Stephen Hawking, Eugenie Scott. Their knowing has blinded them from knowing without even knowing. When was the world created, you ask? Scientific evidence doesn't match up with the Bible, you say? What about fossils? What about this? What about that? I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. All I know is I was blind, and now I see. I was dead, and now I'm alive. Can you explain that? Can you run a test on me? Do you need evidence that God exists? Well, let me present to you exhibit A, and there's exhibit B, and C, and D, and E, and I can go on forever. We are the reason we know God exists and that a relationship with him through Christ and only Christ is real.